Hey guys, Chicago personal injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about how long will your injury case take? So I got a call from a person yesterday who asked me this question. Uh, she kinda knew how injury cases work in a general sense, but um, wanted to know like how long would her case take, right? So here's the, here's the brass tacks, right? Let's get right down to it. Um, everyone wants their case to be over quick, right? Everyone wants to have their case resolved quickly without hassle. I do everything in my power at my law firm to do that for people. In fact, about 90% of my cases settle. So, uh, and, and the vast majority of those settle in less than a year. So, uh, we are very aggressive about getting the cases done. Some offices are less aggressive. Some offices immediately file a lawsuit, and I don't think, I think that that just stretches the case out that otherwise might be a case that could settle. So um, what do you need to know about how long your case will take? Well, the number one thing you have to keep in mind is once we settle an injury case, the case is over. In other words, we can't go back and ask for more money later, right? So whether it's a work injury, a car crash, a dog bite, nursing home abuse, whatever it is, when we settle the case and sign the release or sign the settlement papers, then the case is over for that amount of money and that's it. So because that's the case, we have to keep in mind that um, it's really important to make sure we know all of your injuries and we have to know what your medical outcome is. Now, in the vast majority of cases, the medical outcome is that you get better or you get close enough to better where, you know, maybe your life's a little bit harder, but you're able to do things, right? But what happens in circumstances where, let's say you, you uh, this actually happened to me a number of years ago. I had a client who needed a surgery and against my judgment, he said, if I didn't settle his case for the offer on the table, he would fire me. And I talked to him and talked to him and I explained what I'm explaining to you, that it's a bad idea to settle your case before you know your medical outcome or you reach what's called maximum medical improvement, right? So this guy wanted to settle this case because they built in money for his surgery, for his leg surgery. I had him sign things up and down and sideways. I even encouraged him to go get second opinions from other lawyers because any ethical lawyer would say the same thing. There may be some unethical ones out there who will just want to collect the money and won't really care. But in my case, definitely, you know, I didn't want this guy to settle his case. Why? Because I wanted to know what his outcome from the surgery would be. So there's three possibilities with his leg surgery. either. The doctor miraculously fixes him and he's better than new, or it doesn't help him at all and he needs another surgery or maybe multiple surgeries, or it makes him worse and he's, you know, can't walk anymore or something like that. Now, admittedly, that outcome is less likely. It's more likely that a surgery is really going to help you, but I'm your lawyer. I have to protect you, including protect you from yourself, which is why I take pains to explain all this stuff to injured people so they know what's what, right? So with this guy, sure as anything, he had the surgery and then he needed another surgery after he collected all the money. He called me like three or four months later and said, oh, my doctor says I need another surgery. Is there anything we can do? And I told him, nope, there's nothing we can do because, you know, I even brought up a lawsuit loan. I told him, look, if it's an issue of you needing money because you're pinched for money, don't settle your case just because you're pinched for money. Um, but none of that, he didn't want to take a lawsuit loan. He wanted his money, He's, he understood, he signed off. I wrote him a two page explanation that I made him sign. And then sure enough, three, four months later, he calls me back and says his leg is worse and he needs another surgery. And once the case is settled, the case is settled. Um, so the point is, until we know you're better or until the doctor tells you you're not going to get any better, once we know that, then we'll know what your maintenance medical for the future will be. We'll know what the repercussions are for your employment, like can you keep doing the same job, this sort of thing. Then I can sort of evaluate the value of the case and not before then, 
right? So there's lawyers out there who are desperate to get you to sign on the dotted line and hire them. And they're gonna tell you, oh, it's a great case. We'll wrap it up in three months. We're gonna get you a million dollars. And then it doesn't work out that way, right? Um, so any lawyer who tells you that kind of thing, you can't really trust. So how long will your case take? Well, I've settled a case in less than 30 days. And I've had cases that were litigated for years and years. Most of my cases settle sooner than that. But the main thing for you to know is that until you hit a plateau or until you're done going to the doctor, it would be a mistake for us to try and settle your case, right? So that may give you some idea if you go to the doctor for three months and tell me you're done, I order all your medical, I may very well have an offer and have your case settled in three months after that. Sometimes 30 days, 60 days, sometimes longer, right? So I hope that information helps you sort of gauge how difficult a question is, how long will my case take? Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you like the video and, and or you're a current former client happy with my service, or you've had a consultation with me over the telephone and uh, you feel like doing me a favor, which I would really appreciate, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can leave me a five-star review on Google. You just go to the link that's in the description and leave me a five-star review. That would really help me. It really helps my, my business. And if you're willing to do it, I appreciate it. Also, I'm going to leave a link to my website down there. There's a ton of more information and tools on my website. Like I have a settlement calculator and I have a do I have a good case calculator? Both of those are free. Both of them take about 10 or 15 seconds to fill out. It's just multiple choice. And then it gives you a lot more information and insight into your case, right? Um, and that's absolutely free and no obligation. So you can check that out in the, in the uh, description below. Um, if you enjoy the content and you would like to like the video, I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to know about my videos as they get released, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And other than that, I hope you and your family are healthy and safe. And if I can be of any assistance, give me a holler at 312-500-4500, free. That phone line gets answered 24-7, anytime, night or day, any day of the year, 312-500-4500. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.